your American dream is basically, you know, when you get older, you get a job and settle down and have kids. Okay. Well, today I'm here to talk to you about why you should not have kids. And I know it's, the topic is a little, uh, I guess, unorthodox, but just hear me out. Okay, so now first off, giving birth is one of the most dangerous things uh, a woman can do. Now, <clears throat> tons of things can go wrong, and there's, the list goes on and on. Um, most of these things happen in the late stages of pregnancy, where, and women, and during childbirth, women can uh, experience uh, puerperal fevers, hemorrhages, uh, vaginal tearing, hemorrhoids, obstructed labor, and uh, unfortunately even death. Now C-sections have become the most common thing, or not the most common, but they've become a lot more common uh, among women now. But uh, as scary as it sounds, women still do die from this, from uh, either blood loss or other types of infections or complications that can go wrong. Oh. Oh, um, here I have a little chart, which is the, how do I use the laser pointer? Laser pointer. I mean, I'm oh, sorry. This laser pointer. This uh, graph shows the different kinds of uh, races and ethnicities that we have, and the types of connections that uh, that they show between the mortality rate and like births. So, like for here, we have uh, sudden infant death syndrome. We have about almost about 100 for uh, American Indian, and unknown cause. We have about another 50 roughly, and that's also for American Indian. <clears throat> and lastly, we have accidental suffocation or strangulation in bed, which is the last one. And these are just a couple more to show. Uh, we also have Hispanic, uh, white, and Asian up here on the chart as well. <clears throat> now, not only are the women at risk, but the babies uh, as well. I mean, you, you got to take into consideration their health and how fragile they are, especially at those uh, young ages or even when they're not even born. <coughs> um, like I said earlier, the babies die. Uh, a lot of these complications come later on in the later pregnancies and, uh, you know, even labor at birth. And this can happen for a number of different reasons. Um, I mean, you hear, unfortunately, you hear about this kind of stuff all the time. Well, not all the time, but you have. I'm sure everybody here knows somebody who, at some point, has had to deal with this. Um, about one, according to Baby Center, uh, about one in every 200 babies are born stillborn, and that's in the United Kingdom alone. Um, now, as women grow older, they're more susceptible to uh, childbirth complications, and. Uh, health problems in the mother, like something even just like diabetes or having the flu is a great uh, health risk to the baby. Premature babies are also born, premature babies are also at risk for a number of different health problems. Um, I know uh, personally my younger brother was a preemie and he pretty much lived in the hospital. He was there for a long time, uh, even after he was born. <clears throat> now, not only does having kids uh, affect their health, but, I mean, let's be honest, it affects you, uh, your budget and your wallet as well. It puts a, a huge budget on uh, your, financial, your financial aspect of your life and as well as your freedom. I mean, your freedom to go out uh, whenever you want, you can. Uh, really be going out whenever you want without thinking about your child. <clears throat> and then here I have another chart. Uh, here, it's basically showing the costs between uh, different countries and uh, you know the average costs of childbirth. This was taken a little while ago, 2012. But uh, here we have the United States, almost at 15. 15 grand for childhood alone. <clears throat> now, another aspect of the child safety is 
also not only dealing with their health, but stranger danger, as we're all taught from a young age. Um, about every 40 seconds, there's a child either reported missing or abducted. And there's a typo here, but I meant to put 1.5 million are abducted a year. So that's a pretty big number. Uh, out of the kidnapping victims, 40% are killed, 4% are found, and almost half are at least sexually assaulted. Now, my conclusion was, don't let having kids get in the way of your freedom and your happiness and what you want to do in life.